revealed. Now, if you count well from the 5th of November to today, that is more or less 20 months. 20 months is not a lot to develop a technology. Well, now, look what took place in the last 20 months. You have just seen some pictures of the construction of the airplane. We could have shown you hours of film as there were so many exciting moments. But at this point, I would like to mention one company, Decision. Decision fabricated all the major part of the structure of the airplane. And together with the design team, they found solutions to make them lighter and even much lighter. The design team started with a blank sheet of paper and today they will present you an airplane which will aim to fly day and night without any fuel. Since the beginning of the design, three years of uncertainties to develop new solutions, new construction methods to simulate, to build, to test to assemble. That's a very short time to produce a prototype, specifically in an unknown flying domain. Therefore, as much as the airplane, the star of today is the team who deserves huge applause.
Hey, you're so great. So great. Come closer. Elle est au filet. So great. Non, c'est ça. Non. Hey, guys. Incredible Peter. what we did together. Thank you. Thank you. The airplane which is waiting behind this curtain to be unveiled is not a computerized picture anymore, but it's neither the one which is going to fly around the world in 2012. The HBSIA, named by its Swiss registration, will go through ground tests this summer, do its first test flight in autumn, with a plan to make the first flight through the night next spring. Can you imagine an airplane taking off without fuel, flying 24, 36, 48 hours? Now, let's concentrate on this special moment and discover together the first Solar Impulse airplane. Tout doucement. What an airplane. I will ask now the crew to get back to their seat because we would like to make a family picture with the main partners of the project. So I shall call for Solvay, Mr. Christian Jourquin, for Amiga, Mr. Steve Urquhart, for Deutsche Bank, Mr. Joa Kerman. For EPFL, Mr. Patrick Abicher, for Altran, Mr. Christian Lelièvre, and for Swisscom, Mr. Carsten Schlotter. Please join us. <laughs> <laughs> 